This is a Zulu hat. It's called it's tall. Okay. It means only married women wear this. I'm not married. I don't wear it. <laughs> yeah, and then she covers her shoulders. You have to cover your shoulders, mm -hmm. your chest, with whatever covering you have. <coughs> and then we move to it's the bottom. Yeah. 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 This is a Zulu um, skirt. It's, yeah, it's called a Zulu skirt, but it's made out of. It doesn't necessarily have to be a specific material. You can use cow skin. You can use fabric. You can use whatever. The decorations here are okay, just are basically for decorative purposes. They don't necessarily have a specific meaning. However, the way she's dressed indicates that she's a married woman. If I had to dress traditionally, I wouldn't have shoulders. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have this. I'll just probably have like a short thing mm -hmm. and no hat. Mm -hmm. and oh, okay. That's how I would dress. To differentiate me from her because I'm not married, married. and she is. And, uh, so they're all ma married. They're right? all married. They're they're women. Women. Based on the way they've dressed, it's modest. They've covered their shoulders. They've covered their chests and their skirts and they're very really, like modestly dressed okay. and then the beads don't necessarily represent anything it's just a matter of um, decorations and and this is a, um, a shield a Zulu shield those small because it's women they don't necessarily pose a threat so it doesn't necessarily have to be a big so for men the men usually carry the big one and women carry the small one for traditional purposes the umbrella represents a spear but because they can't bring they don't like to bring spears so an umbrella or a stick is a representation but usually it's usually like a spear yeah. They're not allowed to have spears here because, no, because of this event? Of safety, yeah, safety reasons. Okay, but generally okay. when you um when you're <coughs> engaging in Zulu dancing, you use, we usually use traditional weapons like an yeah. Esagai uh -huh. and uh, a spear. What but is Esagai? It's um no matter. It's a kill as an Esagai. It's basically a stick that has a very a uh, very head, like a, it's, it's carved out of wood. It's got like a very round top, and it can hold it. You see that that's more spear. But because we're in a public space like this, they don't want to bring it. So umbrellas represent that as a guy element. So that's why okay. we carry this spear and the umbrella to represent this. Okay. Because we usually carry spears when we first step and we dance. That's, that's why I was able to move because I'm also Zulu. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the drum. If you hear the beat, you look at the rhythm and you just follow along. Okay. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for telling me about that. <laughs> no problem. What's your name again? My name is Zulu. All right. It's great to meet you. Thanks. Thank you very much.